I enjoy driving very fast in games, and I think you do too, since you clicked on this video. So here are 5 upcoming games that let you do just that. Welcome to the galaxy's most dangerous off-road racing event, Remote Unexplored Extreme Exoplanetary Rally. This is Exo Rally Championship, and it'll have players embarking on a journey from underdog to champion in the outermost reaches of the galaxy. Master a brutally realistic racing simulation and fight for every second on your quest to become the fastest. This game will have wild, untamed planets, fierce weather, hardware-breaking temperatures and winds, and a hardcore off-road physics sim. Instead of a regular old car, you take the wheel of advanced RCS thruster-enhanced rovers and dive into a career mode inspired by the rally events down here on Earth. There's also going to be a management layer to the game that allows you to customize, tune, and repair your rover, optimizing performance in the face of diverse environments. Exo Rally Championship comes to us from the creator of Exo One, which can best be described as a marble game, but that marble is also a weird little spaceship. Developer Jay Weston had this to say about their new title. After making Exo One, I really wanted to explore traversal on other worlds from a totally different angle. Exoplanetary Rally brings together all the elements of an exoplanet and challenges you to face them head on. And it seems like early playtests will be making their way onto Steam pretty soon. While we're up here in space, this next one takes truck sims into the stars. In Star Trucker, you'll haul cargo, trade salvage, and keep your spacesuit close as you search for fame and fortune. You can unlock a wide range of jobs, trailer types, suppliers, and cargo. And of course, you can customize your rig. One pretty big update from a game like American Truck Simulator is the introduction of a fully voiced cast of characters. Interact with them over the radio and get to know some rather interesting star-hopping truckers. You can also leave your truck to perform maintenance and collect salvage that's floating out in space. Yeah, so this is a pretty genius idea that somehow also makes perfect sense. I'm curious to see how these open asteroid field type areas work versus a more defined space highway type roadway. Can we fly anywhere we want or will there be different sections on the map? Maybe highways will connect smaller open areas together. Either way, you gotta admit that stop signs in space look totally bizarre. Star Trekker is coming to PC in 2024. Drifting back down to Earth, our first stop is Japan, the drift capital of the world. In Japanese Drift Master, players will compete, drift, and race on miles of varied roads, winding mountain trails, and through small towns. Take on the role of a foreigner who wants to make a name for themselves in the Japanese drifting scene. Apparently there's going to be a unique plot that combines elements of racing games from the west with visual novel storytelling from the east. Sounds intriguing. This one's going to be a simcade, which is a mix between a racing sim and an arcade racer. Accessible to those new to drifting with enough depth to satisfy fans of more realistic games. JDM will support gamepad, steering wheel, and keyboard. Cars in the game are customizable, and you'll be able to paint them and adjust their interiors, exteriors, and wheels, among other things. Visiting the tuner shop will let you tweak your car's performance and handling. This one is coming to PC at first, with a potential console release happening sometime in the future. So get ready to experience the automotive culture of Japan and discover the roads where Drift was born. Let's see if I can do this next one all in one breath. Resistor is a turbocharged, narrative-driven adventure RPG featuring open-world exploration, stunt-infused racing, and explosive vehicular combat. Build up your team and unravel a twisting story as you compete to take down an impressive megacorporation and its enigmatic director. This one takes place in the year 2060, after the world's governments destroyed one another and have been replaced by self-contained city-states owned by the corpse. Within these walls, citizens enjoy a life of comfort and luxury, not having to think about the communities scattered around the endless desert wastes of the outside world. These corporations hold an annual racing tournament, presenting people with high-speed races to the death and a shot at permanent citizenship inside these cities. You play as Aster, who's racing to help save their sick mother. In Resistor, you can expect lots of high adrenaline races. Traverse sun-scorched desert wastes in your vehicle or disembark to explore dusty outposts and urban sprawls. 
I thought this was pretty cool. You can drive around or explore cities on foot, accepting missions from different characters and potentially unlocking optional story arcs. As you grow your reputation, you'll build up your crew, who can give you special bonuses and aid you in races. More influence also means an expanded map as your influence reaches new locations. This crazy and colorful car PG is coming to PC at some point in the future. And finally, we have Night Runners, a street racing game heavily influenced by 90s and early 2000s car culture and PS2 racers. This one does not have a Steam page yet, but there are plans to release both a demo and a Kickstarter campaign later this year. The game already has a huge following on Twitter and Discord, and for good reason. It looks great. Unlike Japanese Driftmaster, this one is all about street racing and zipping between cars on the highway. Here's a look at some pretty extensive customization options, my favorite being the floor mats that I'm never gonna see, but at least I'll know they're down there. Believe it or not, this one is being developed by one person and will feature multiple open worlds to speed around. There will be some sort of career mode, with multiplayer likely coming sometime after launch. Night Runners is coming to PC first in early access and potentially to consoles later on. So those were a couple really interesting looking driving games that I am looking forward to. There's one I'm missing though, and that's Pacific Drive. Fortunately, I have an entire video breaking down everything you need to know about it.